two grueling games this past weekend. They were tight games. What does this say about your team's character and athleticism? Well, I mean, we show fight in both games for it to be our first weekend. You know, these, you know, the schools have been playing two, three weeks. I was down there a couple weeks ago to watch uh, Calvert Hall at Baltimore Friends. So, you know, f for them to be six, seven, and St. Francis nine, ten games into the season, I, I was, I was pleased with the way we played, the way we fought back, and um, obviously two close games. And you know, sh we have to. And I, and I got different things from different kids. Some kids stepped up yesterday. Some kids stepped up today. So I'm starting to see what you know, what, what we're made of, and what we need to work on down the stretch to be championship team. Now, given a choice between Calvert Hall and St. Francis, who would you pick for a rematch? Both. Both. <laughs> <laughs> no. <clears throat> um, probably Calvert Hall, just because of some things that happened late in the game, some of the officiating stuff, I felt like, um, and not taking anything away from Calvert Hall, but um, some of those plays maybe took away from our, you know, from the game a little bit. I've had some people come up to me and, you know, but we have to make free throws. And, and they made their free throws down the stretch, and that's what ultimately what it came down to. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll play anybody, anytime. Coach JB, what was your assessment of the generals? Was it more than you expected, about what you expected, because according to the stats, you were pretty evenly matched when it came to turnovers, uh, rebounds, and there were six lead changes in the game. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, just watching them play yesterday, I mean, I, I knew it was going to be a really, really tough game. I mean, so a team that's going to compete hard, um, great on the offensive glass, great guard play, um, you know, big, long, athletic, well coached. So, I mean, for us, I knew it was going to be a, a tough, grinded out game. I mean, Pretty much any game we play on our schedule is a, a tough, grinded out game for us. So that's what we expect out of everything. Calvert Hall seems to like to force opponents to shoot threes. You guys were pretty hot in the beginning of the game on three. Is that a, an ongoing strategy? And, and why is that? Why do you like to force a three rather than let them inside? The answer may be obvious, but. <laughs> What's the obvious answer? <laughs> you don't want them to shoot three. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, if you're going to double. If you're going to trap as, as much as we're going to, as much as we try to trap, um, you know, you got to kind of pick your poison because you're sending two guys the ball. So would you rather have them shoot a, a contested three? Or would you rather have them shoot a layup? So, um, you know, I guess if a team gets hot, I mean, they were hot in the first quarter. My God. Um, but if a team gets hot, you know, you, sometimes you're going to give up some threes. Um, and that's, just kind of, that's kind of the way we play right now. But we had to adjust. I mean, the fourth quarter, we didn't trap at all. Um, because their guards were just sh shredding our traps in the third and fourth quarter. So we had to adjust and just play straight up man in the fourth. Well, Coach Moore, you, you brought this up earlier about you know, refereeing, and I, I don't want to get into Yeah, me neither. The, the, <laughs> I'm not going to ask you about that. Right. But <laughs> two technicals. Now, regardless of whether it was a good call or a bad call, um, with a game this tight, uh, how do you get the players to settle down and stay focused again? Well, I mean, I think the kids did. They, you know, they 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 picked up as a team, um, you know, and continued to play aggressive defense. You know, our press was working really well. Um, <clears throat> you know, but two plays where, you know, the second one, he didn't even say any. He was talking to me. He didn't even say anything to the ref, and no curse words on either one of these technical. You know, on a kid who at that point in time has had completely taken over the game. You know, it was his game at that time, and. You know, it was just, you know, it was just a tough pill to swallow. But the kids, you know, to their credit, you know, they, you know, they took the challenge and stayed in our diamond and you know, got a few more turnovers and we got right back in the mix and, you know, and came down, you know, to foul shooting at the end of the game. Well, and we missed and they made. That's that, it. That's why I like to pick up on it, Coach JB. If you could talk about the last 60 seconds of this game. Okay. Um, how, did you, how did your team? The, the pluses, the minuses, last 60 seconds? Uh, we got some big defensive rebounds um, that helped us, you know, off of, off of um, off a couple three, I think long threes that they took. Um, so, I mean, I know we got a couple defensive rebounds there. Obviously, uh, Cameron Briggs stepped up and hit two big free throws for us down the stretch there. Um, I know Justin made, I think, one or two prior to that. Brendan Adams hit two before that. So, I mean, that was probably more than a minute. So, I mean, free throw shooting was good, but we, we got to do a better job, obviously, against pressure. I mean, their pressure really, really hurt us uh, big time. So, we got to do a better job against that. You want any thoughts on that? If we can move on to the players. 
Yeah, you can move on. Um, you guys had your high scores, I think, on the team. Tell us, let's start with you. Tell us about your game. And you need to speak into the mic. Well, did you, did you are you satisfied with your level of play today? Yes, but I would like to be on one the game though, and <laughs> I should have kept my mouth shut because like. Um, I seen in the third quarter you were getting really frustrated and you just put your head down and kept attacking the basket. Can you describe like, I guess how you were feeling and what was going through your mind when you were in the little streak in the third and fourth quarter? Um, well, I had to step up. And, um. First time when we did the play, it went, we, it worked. So, coach just said keep doing it until they could stop it, and we just kept doing it and kept perfection. So, but then I had I had um, some words with the ref and he gave me two technical fouls out of the game at a bad time, and um, basically I just stepped up. They have to do, but we fell short. And Corey, so it feels like underneath. It seemed like a, a pretty big battle underneath getting rebounds. And evenly matched, but uh, seemed pretty, uh, pretty intense. It was pretty intense, but like when he was attacking, it was like freeing me up to get the rebound, though, because they was closing in on him. So that's how I went. Well, how did you tell us about your, your style of play when it comes to that? Well, I like physical. Contact. I like being physical down low, so that's really my style of play. Uh, and if you can pass it down to the town hall players, Justin is, I, if I got the stats right, he had at least 12 rebounds, uh, he had a number of block shots, and he was 17 points. Uh, that's not a bad game, or is, is that a typical game for you, or do you think uh, that's just average for you? Uh, average. Uh, this year, I've been uh, averaging double double. So, you no, know, just came out here uh, and just got the dub. Right. And you're committed to Towson? Yes. Tell us about that. How, how do you feel about being committed to Towson, and what do you think you could bring to that team? Uh, well, I like uh, Coach Bex, Pat Scary and what he what he has uh, planned for me, and I felt like that was the best choice. And I look to I hope to when I get there contribute right as a freshman. So. Oh, um, I know you, were, you missed the game yesterday, and it was against a big opponent, St. Benedict. Uh, what are your thoughts on missing a game against a big opponent like that? Uh, well, we f my team fought without me, so I'm happy about that. Uh, you know, there's nothing I can say about that because I wasn't there. Play, like, of course, I wanted to play. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would love him if we could play him again, but. Uh yeah. Last year we had four uh D one three three D one prospects, so you know I was on the uh I was on the block getting rebounds, getting my trash buckets and I knew this year that I had to come out, step out on the perimeter and both step down low. So I uh, had to work on that. Coach J B said I need to work on my perimeter. I want all trash buckets last year. Yeah, well yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. So that was You guys play around these tournaments all over the place. Last year I had five seniors that graduated. Two at Baltimore City Community College, one at Minnesota, one at FIU. Last year was like I got a lot of frequent flyer miles. We went to Vegas for four games, Florida for three games, Erie for two games, Spring uh, Springfield Mass to the Hoop Hall for a game. So this year, like we wanted to this was a perfect opportunity for us to get out of Philadelphia, but like not be out so far away from family, you know, so much time spent away. And we're going to go to New York for two small trips and, um, and to like Western Pennsylvania for a trip. But um, you know, we, we, we try to play, you know, guys from all over the country. We've played St. Benedict's before. We've played Modern Day. We've played, you know, we've played, a, you know, a variety of schools in, in our seven years of basketball that we've had at our school. And, and based on that experience, how, would, how, how does this area measure up? Oh, I mean, you know, I think it's great. You know, I talked to uh, Mr. O'Shea last night. And we talked about, um, you know, 
make, you know, the idea of like a rivalry in Philadelphia. We have a game that was really good for a long time. It was Philly-New York game. So like five teams from New York would come down, play five teams from Philly. It would be a one-day thing. Just being able to, you know, St. Benedict's is a little bit of a different animal. It's prep school. They bring kids in from all over America, the world. So, but traditional high schools, to be able to build rivalries between towns this close it, it, it is great. Um, and I think that, you know, tr I, I like playing against traditional high schools and, you know, and, and I think that that's kind of, you know, and obviously we played against, I feel like I played it, you know, I don't know who, you know, how many better players you could have in Baltimore than the kids I've seen yesterday and today. So, you know, that's good for my guys graduating, all we graduated last year to go ag against this caliber of player yesterday and today to kind of see where we're at. You know, we came, you know, we talked about it this morning. These two teams may be the two best teams. And MOTEP will be here next week to play St. Francis, and they're in our league. But these two teams may be the two best teams we play all season long. First of all, I am going to share. Um, I have diabetes, and I hope it meant something to you all to, to, to play for something like this because, you know, it's a tough situation, diabetes. I don't have a kind for yet. Anyway, I want to thank you all for, you know, for that. Um, my question, my, my question to, to, to the Calvert Hall coach is interesting. Let's say um, the general guy makes a foul shot. What is your strategy? Because it's tied to the worst that can happen if you go for the final shot. is overtime. I'm kind of curious. And if anybody, if the coach or, or as far as coach and the players will, will want to comment, um, what do you feel is the strong point of your game? That's good for colleges, and what are you looking to improve on? Because all great athletes want to improve, even Michael Jordan wants to improve. But once again, I want to thank you for, for a very special Sunday at Spen. Um, um, you know, I, I, first of all, I think I'm glad uh, that we had this, at, at, um, you know, we were to do this, and, and hopefully we were able to, to you know, raise some, some money that will go to diabetes research. Um, I think it's a great cause, and it's good for these kids experience something that's you know, giving back to the community, not just a basketball experience. Um, you know, I think if he if he would have made the shot, um, you know, with with our guard playing being young, I would have called timeout. Um, I would have expected he would have pressured us, um, but considering we were well, throwing we the ball away. So, yeah, oh yeah, we okay. would have definitely tried to hold for the final shot, no question. Uh, you don't want it. Twenty four seconds left, tie game. You don't want to give them an opportunity. So. And if anybody wants to answer my question, coaches included. Um, what is your strong point? I definitely want some of the players in. And what do you want to improve on? Because all great athletes want to want to improve. There you go, Austin. Um, I think my strong point is I feel like I'm pretty athletic, so I can get around and try to get some rebounds. But I think I definitely need to improve and getting stronger because I know college players are definitely bigger than what I am right now. So that's definitely what I need to get stronger. Anyone else? Uh, my strong suit is shooting. Uh, making open shots if I'm open, you know, uh, definitely, like Austin said, get stronger for college because we're playing against grown men. And uh, what I want to improve on is putting the ball on the floor, being able to not just rely on an open jump shot, you know, create my own shot a little bit. And hopefully I can work on that. So like I got like a lot of work to do. One thing, um, one of my strong points is pick and roll. I do very well with that, and I'm very fast. Oh, um, and things that I could work.